Hi again, and uh, welcome to another opportunity to reflect together. Again, my encouragement is that you reflect. You look at the verse that I'm suggesting and uh, come up with your own thoughts for that and perhaps share them. Let me know what you're thinking. Uh, But we're into Proverbs chapter 22 now. Proverbs 22 and verse 1 says this. A good name is more desirable than great riches. To be esteemed is better than silver or gold. Rich and poor have this in common. The Lord is the maker of them all. I uh, try and use social media quite a bit. Um, some, many of you will be watching this on Facebook. Um, I use Twitter as well. But I read more, much more, than I post. And uh, one of the things that horrifies me as I go through social media is just the venom and the opportunities that people take to try and besmirch the name of somebody else, how they try and drag people down by personal insults and awful, awful things that are said. Uh, Let me say right now, I don't believe that that's a Christian attitude at all. Read the scriptures and you'll see plenty of evidence for how we should deal with conflict or disagreement. However, I raise that because of this verse where um, we are to uh, work hard at um, uh, building or maintaining a good name, a a reliable name, a trustworthy name, uh, a name of honesty, a name that is linked to people of decency and people of rightness. Now, by the same token, though, we should be treating other people in that way. We shouldn't be looking to besmirch other people. We shouldn't be looking to drag them through the dirt. We should be looking always for the best things, the best elements of their life and encouraging them in that, whether we agree with them in everything else or not. But we should and could be much kinder, much more pleasant in the way that we deal with other people. But that's not the point of this verse. The the point of this verse is that to to seek a good name, to seek a name of honour and trust and um, all the other things that I mentioned is more desirable than, than gold or silver. We could be sitting uh, isolated in a, in a huge castle or a palace surrounded by all the, the man-made and worldly riches that we have, but still uh, be, be disliked, be distrusted, uh, be hated by people around us. That's not a good way to live, is it? No matter how much we have in the way of, of wealth, uh, if we don't have that sort of sense, that understanding among other people, of being a good person, a a pleasant person to be with, well, then we will lose so much more than money can buy. So let's work hard at being truthful, at being honest, at being um, people whose integrity is intact and people whose whose love for others shines through. Let's pray. Father, thank you again for the name that you give us. And thank you for the name of Jesus that we can just put our trust in. Help us, Lord, to live in a way that honours him and uh, therefore honours you. And help us to be people of, people of, uh, of good virtue in all that we do. For there are true riches. In Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you. I, hope, uh, I feel as if I've rambled a bit, but I hope that makes some sense to you. I'd love to hear your thoughts. God bless.